This is not the reason for the caution flag. He's looking for the grubs. And here is Carl Edwards looking for grip and finding none. Darrell, this was turning down into turn three, and it just stepped yeah, out with him. And he, he made that late exit into the corner kind of wide and where you're going to cut it and go down the hill. And when he tried to cut it right here down the hill, you see the back end steps out just that momentarily. But you're going so fast, you're going over 200 mile an hour right there. And once you pitch it in there like that, unless you catch it, that wall is going to. Carl said he felt like on the radio, he felt like he had a soft right rear. Well, the right rear is soft. Uh, there's no question. I'm not sure if it came from the damage or from, uh, see the right rear there is soft. I don't think they had to evaluate whether they needed to go to a backup or not on this 99. You can see all the damage there, and there they're unloading it. Matt? And hey, Mike, Larry Mack is totally correct. No evaluation needed about going to a backup. So what happened? Bob changed something on the uh, Grub X Fusion there, and I thought, boy, he freed it up. This is nice. I came off turn two, and by the time I got into turn three, the, the right rear tire looks like it was flat. I thought for a second, whoa, we got a free in. I tried to save it, and I just, um, if I'd have thought quicker, I maybe would have pitched it around backwards and just hit with the rear, but um, sometimes that stuff happens. Uh, it's a pretty good race car, though. I think we figured some things out, so hopefully we can uh, get the backup going just as fast. All right, thanks, Carl. Hey, thanks. And they should be able to get that backup car out on the racetrack. We still have about 50 minutes of practice left. But I do think this is a team, Carl and Bob Osborne, that are really, really struggling, trying to find speed in their race car. Week in and week out over the last several weeks, we've heard Carl mention car has no speed. And I think sometimes you just over, you're, he's trying to overdrive the car and uh, the car is just not responding for it. But you know, I talked to Jimmy Finning, of course, who was uh, David Reagan's crew chief. Now he's kind of working in a role a lot like Robbie Riser over there at Ralph's Fenway. Jimmy and I stood in the garage area Saturday afternoon before the All-Star race and same words. We just don't have speed right now. Yeah. They're not talking about the handling. They're not talking about engines. They said they don't have speed. Yeah. And you know that the engine, it can't be necessarily an engine problem, Larry, because look at how the 43 runs. Uh, the 43 has been pretty fast on a number of occasions. And even Greg Biffle over here the other night in the All-Star race, I think they've got power. I think they got to work on the chassis. Of the cars are just not handling for them. A lot like what we saw with Childress last year. Yep. Carl had run 13 laps. He was 15th fastest.